With the 56th pick in the 2023 draft, the Chicago Bears, again, going on the defensive side of the ball. It's Tyreek Stevenson, corner out of Miami, a 2022 third-team All-ACC selection. Added to a Bears defense that needs a whole lot of help. They allowed an NFL high eight yards per pass last season. Back in studio with the guys here to react to the latest addition to the Chicago Bears. Give me a word here, Ryan Wilson, on Tyreek Stevenson, and then also assess the draft board that has raised some eyebrows here from Ryan Poles early on. One word for Tyreek's game would be confusing because he looks the part. He doesn't show up as that part play in and play out. He is long. He can be fluid at times, but we were talking about the UNC game in particular. He looked outmatched and confused at times in terms of covering deep balls, which is something that you need to do as a cornerback. And the, the overall picture for me, Rick, is that you look at last year's draft, Jaquan B uh, Brisker, Kyler Gordon. Those are great picks in the secondary. Jalen Johnson a few years ago. And I'm kind of confused about what the Bears' plan is here, uh, especially in the defensive side of the ball. I love the Darnell Wright pick in round one, but I'm not quite certain what they're trying to accomplish with the players they're taking, the, the, the needs they're trying mm -hmm. to feel I like get. Yeah, and he has to be able to play man coverage because that's where he's going to excel. Mm -hmm. What Ryan is trying to allude to is that when he plays in off coverage, he bites on double moves. He looks confused in zone coverage, has no awareness, and I really question how physical he is right. as well in run support. So you got a tremendous athlete, great size, can run, play him to his strengths, don't try to push something that he can't do. There ain't no hiding at the next level. If they see a weakness, they will exploit it. And there's a whole lot of weakness on this Bears defense. Perhaps Tyreek Stevenson can aid in the road back. The monsters of the midway so far gone. But it's an open north. Maybe the Bears can contend. Our guy's not loving the board right now. We'll see what the pieces look like come camp time.